Well, ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, I have to showcase this face on screen, and you guys already know who this face is. You know, there's a lot of videos going around about this female Twitch streamer because she is saying some asinine things. A little shortly after the last female Twitch streamer decided to fake the, uh, you know, bad engagement with another male gamer to try to go on this victim tirade and try to get him banned and and go on this, oh, woe is me, I'm a female thing. Well, apparently this person, Hannah, or XJ Hannah, whatever the, her name is, is doing the same exact thing. However, the funny thing is, after she made a video talking about how she would forcibly trans her son because she doesn't want a cis hetero male for a kid, apparently she's been hit with a 14 day ban on Twitch. <laughs> Now, why am I talking about this woman, ladies and gentlemen? Well, the reason why is because, quite frankly, we need to be honest with ourselves when it comes to someone like this. A 14-day uh, ban doesn't mean shit to this person, although I think it's hilarious that they got a 14-day ban because she was out here touting uh, a whole bunch of nonsense saying, oh, I'm going to donate all the money that I get to, I don't know, some sort of trans lives thing. And I'm like, what are you going to donate, 50 bucks? Like, it just, it just was so stupid, but it looks like that's going to put a little wrench in this plan of donating money, not that I think she was ever going to do it anyway. But the funny thing is, I really want to focus on the fact that since she's a woman and the whole believe all women narrative that was formed by feminists and male feminists and simps, um, that narrative is going to allow her to continue to spin this bullshit. And it's funny because men cannot do the same thing. So let's get into this video, guys. But of course, before we do, if you are new here, just consider hitting that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it and like the video to push us out into that YouTube algorithm. Now, look at the screen cap here. Of course, she's got the uh, the the stunning and brave top. You know what I mean? It's the top that's clearly not meant for the male gaze, right? A lot of these women think if they put a Corsair headset on, that that suddenly makes them a gamer, right? And it's like, who are you? It says it is entirely on to you to help stop the men who are, you know, attacking, whatever, whatever. Let's look at the actual suspension. So I have this from Grooms over here on Twitter. And it says, hello, Jay Hanna. Uh, Twitch is committed to keeping our community safe for everyone. And as a part of that, we require all users to ensure that anything shared on their account abides by Twitch's terms of uh, service and community guidelines. Based on a review of your activity or content, we have issued a global suspension on your account. As a result, your access to Twitch services is tempor uh, temporarily restricted. Incurring multiple violations may result in permanent uh, suspension. Now, the reason is not specific, but it's there. It says the reason is hateful conduct, which is promoting, encouraging, or facilitating the discrimination or denigration of a group of people based on their protected characteristics. Examples of violative, uh, um, violative conduct include, but are not limited to, posting a combination of words and emotes in chat to promote denigration based on race, praising or supporting a hate crime, advocating for the exclusion of a group or people based on their disability. Now, again... I, there's nothing specific here. It doesn't say what actually happened. It says it was on a stream or a VOD. It doesn't name the actual video of which it took place. It doesn't tell you the actual comment of which she got banned for, but it does showcase that it's based off hateful content. So people are trying to make the uh, assumption that because she mentioned that transing a kid on purpose and grooming a kid, essentially, that this was the reason why she got banned. Now, the funny thing is, I don't care if it's a 14-day ban. She's not a prominent streamer. It really doesn't mean much to her. But I don't give a shit if it's a 14-day ban. The reason why is because if this was a guy, he would have gotten a permanent ban. He would have gotten canceled off the internet. He would have gotten nuked off the face of the earth. But because this is a woman, and it's a believe-all-woman narrative right now on the internet, she's allowed to openly admit to wanting to groom children, because that's literally what it is. She said she would indoctrinate her son into being a trans or gay male. She would do everything in her power to make sure he was not a quote unquote cis hetero male. So she openly admitted to grooming and she advocates for grooming. And yet she's only got a 14 day suspension because she has titties. It's absolutely ridiculous. Twitch is such a trash company. I'm telling you right now, if you're streaming to Twitch, you need to multi-stream or you need to stop streaming. One of the two. You need to multi-stream more slightly. That's the best thing to do. And push your platform 
off of Twitch because they are such a garbage company. Especially if you are a male streamer, don't even bother because you stand no chance. The moment you say anything out of line that doesn't agree with the narrative, you're done. Twitch will get rid of you and not even look back. Now, if you're a woman, that's something different. You got plenty of Twitch um, simps that have been um, ironically groomed. You know what I mean? That's the funny thing. Like Twitch um, simps. They are out there in mass, and they have been well trained. Okay, they are they are readily available. Why do you think all these women are going to Twitch to try to get their hands on some of these simp's? Because honestly, they're just that. Like that's what they are. Twitch is filled with simp viewers. Very few of them are actually there to engage in any kind of gaming or anything of the sort. They're just there to see how close they can get to seeing a naked woman without paying really too much of anything, which is ironic, but. Besides the point, you have a video here from our good friend Cult Classic Cage absolutely exposing this female for the garbage that she is. Look at what she says in this video. It's only 27 seconds. Check this out. Here we go. Hey guys, today we're going to be reading Reddit Am I the Asshole Stories. And if you know me, you know I am a strong hater to my core. And I love judging people. So I love reading these stories because it's either these people are freaks or the people in their life are freaks. And. I love it. There's something there's something so good about getting to judge people randomly on the internet. That's what that's my favorite part of the internet. I don't know what to tell you. Oh wait, wait. <laughs> wait a second. So the woman who is apparently complaining about Call of Duty lobbies and her being judged for being a female and her being attacked for being a female and all this other victim nonsense is openly advocating for in a video or in a stream for judging other people on a Reddit post. Like this is this is this is what I'm talking about, bro. This is a shit that I'm trying to explain to people how the women out there in the gaming scene. So many of them are absolute fucking trash. They are just trash. OnlyFans wannabes, that's what they are. They don't have the balls to just flat out say they want to be on OnlyFans, but they want the benefit of the Sims, so they try to go on Twitch and pretend as if they're just a tee-hee uwu girl. Miss me with this shit, man. You are such a fucking hypocrite, and this is why you cannot... If you see a video of a female complaining about a toxic male space in gaming, I need you to realize that there's a 99.9% .9 chance that that video is complete and utter bullshit and made up. Look at that. That's a nice screen cap. She probably makes that face quite often. But this is this is why you cannot believe female videos at face value. The moment you see one, you need to question it to the max until it is proven to be factual because you will find out very quickly that chances are it is not. So this person who ran an entire victim tirade for the last week or so has been exposed for being into exactly what she says she hates when men do it to her. So it's okay for her to do it. She's another Alyssa Mercante. It's perfectly fine if she does it, but God forbid someone does it to her. Oh, that's just harassment. That's just too much. So again, guys, these e-thoughts, these Twitch girls, whatever, you need to understand what they are, and I'm sure a lot of you do, and I'm glad that I have a platform, as small as it is, that I can push this message out there and let people realize how much of a trash human being this woman is. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, consider leaving me a subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video, comment, let me know what you thought, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Hypnotic out.